Our initial reaction was, oh my goodness, we lost the Coquihalla. This is massive, this is huge. This is something we have never seen before. Pretty surreal to understand just the magnitude of the devastation. Highway 5 is the principal corridor that moves goods from the coast into the interior and of course from the rest of Canada back into uh, the port of Vancouver and to serve the uh, two and a half million people that live in the area. It accounts for about two thirds to three quarters of the commercial traffic that moves on any given day. So there is no more important corridor in BC. You realize pretty quickly that as a, as a province, we're dependent on the lower mainland. For Merritt, it's, uh, it's a backbone to our economy and, and certainly how our people get around. The day the flooding happened, right away started getting uh, equipment mobilized out here, thinking that, you know, we'll clean it up and get traffic moving. When we got out here and saw how high the rivers were, this isn't over, this is probably the start of it. As Ministry of Transportation and Infrastructure employees, this was hugely impactful because it meant that nothing was moving. And we couldn't even get there to fully assess the damage. We had a massive problem on our hands that we needed to do something about and quickly. Ministry of MICA pulled their technical team down on the ground. We were able to kind of walk the grade, agree on the scope as soon as, like as, as soon as practically possible. Here's what we can do quickly to get this thing open. We identified all the sites uh, that had happened after the first event. As the highway was so severely damaged that we can only have helicopter access to many sites. An engineering exercise like this to, to rebuild half of a bridge, to repair these sections of the highway that have been washed away, normally that's an exercise that would take months and months to do. In this situation, we obviously didn't have months to go through that exercise, so we had to come up with a different solution. So what we did is created a project with this, and that allowed our operational teams to focus on the things that they need to do around keeping uh, people safe and moving whatever vehicles they can and maintaining what highway we still had. We were able to really cut down that timeline and, and meet the deadline of getting that Coquihalla open as quickly as we possibly could. The initial conversations where we think we might might have this ready for March. I could not believe the way uh, folks mobilized so quickly to be able to get on addressing getting these highways open. It was so successful that we've taken that approach and we're now adapting that and formalizing it. We're looking to simultaneously be designing and constructing so that we can get the Coquihalla fully back to four lanes and back to the highway that everyone knows it to be. I would think anybody that worked out here through the floods and the rebuild would have a lot of pride on, on what we did, what we accomplished. Coquihalla with the speed they did it, that was, it was a huge thing for Merritt, a huge thing for our province. The work that the contractors did in cooperation with the ministry, how they moved mountains, how they literally changed the face of the landscape to make sure that we could get back in operation was just amazing. It's all about the people and the team coming together, our Indigenous communities and the ministry and the contractors. Uh, we did it in record time, in bad conditions, and everybody came together and the smiles on people's faces when it got done was incredible. <laughs>